NSP solar pump station is specially designed for the water supply in developing countries. Hello, uh, I'm Dietmar Stuck, the developer and founder of the NSP new solar pump and the same name company, NSP. NSP is an Austrian enterprise specializing in the development with the future renewable energy. Prior to my current post, I've worked for many years as a master water well driller and supervisor of well construction in Europe, Australia and Africa, where I collected many useful experience. In Austria, I'm working as a water diviner and we're having a water drilling company where we are drilling water wells with a water finding guarantee. In Australia, I worked for a drilling company where I drilled water wells up to 1,000 meters. And in Africa, I made service for water projects for health organizations. 2010, I traveled with my wife to Tanzania for exercising of water well projects. One day, we came to a watering place where many people were waiting for water. Because of no wind, the windmill didn't pump any water and the hand pump next to them were broken. A broken hand pump is a typical picture what you find in every developing country. Every third hand pump is broken in fact of no maintenance at materials with no quality. That encouraged me to find an alternative to pump water out of those water wells for those people without running costs over the whole day and without pumping water by hand, what is very hard. What would you do if no more water is coming out of your tap? In Africa, I've seen people walking for more than 20 kilometers for only one bucket of water to supply themselves and their families. Some other people are climbing down into a hole where they fetch water and giving it in a line up to the surface to carrying it home. Others are digging small ponds where over the night time is coming some water together and, and the next day morning they are fetching this out into a bucket. Children are not going to school because they need to go and fetch water every day. People are also getting sick through water diseases, in fact, of the polluted drinking water. And daily 4,000 people are dying, in fact, of no access to water. Which system are getting used at the moment and why they are not sustainable enough and working well? A windmill pump is only working if it's in an area where there's enough wind. If there's also no wind, there's also no water getting pumped. Uh, power aggregate driven pumps are having highly running costs and fuel needs to be refilled daily. So there are costs every day for it. Solar underwater pumps are just coming into the market. Unfortunately for remote areas, they are not sustainable enough because if there is any fault, people cannot pump any water anymore and need to wait for a technical person. The solar panels are mostly placed near the bottom where they can get stolen or damaged and the system is getting rusty if the water is a little bit salty. Sand is also getting damaging the turbines inside the pump, and this is happening if the water well is not 100% clean. And the last and most common pump in developing countries are hand pumps. Hand pumps need lots of maintenance, especially in the pump piston. Gaskets need to be changed several times a year. If this is not happening, the pump is broken and standing around without any function. Researchers indicated that in Africa alone 90% of the hand pumps already break after the first few years and require maintenance as well as spare parts in order to function again for a short time. I took all advantages and disadvantages of the currently available well, well pumps into consideration and thus all existing disadvantages could be raised. This new method was developed for people who are independent from any power supply or want to become independent. The NSP solar pump is more than just a solar pump. It is, there are no running costs and it is maintenance free, also no changing of gaskets in the pump piston. A simply readjustment to emergency hand pump function enables pumping water also at night time or in unexpected problems. Already existing hand pumps and windmills can be replaced with this system. It is salt water resistant because in some areas the water is a little bit salty but it's still drinking water. And common systems are getting rusty and so the working period is uh, very short. There's also a sand filter outside the piston because in some water wells they are not developed very well and this is for the protection of the filter inside the pump piston. The system has a worldwide operation area but especially in developing countries. Currently nearly all kind of pumps are getting produced in a mass production in India, China and Mexico. 
So another and for me the best advantage of this system is that it can be getting produced locally. This is creating local jobs and development and it would be also the first solar pump getting manufactured in African countries. These systems here are running for more than three years without any maintenance. The water pump on the right side is 20 meters deep and it's pumping 60,000 liters per day. And the pump on the left side is installed in a 100 meter water well and is supplying 5,000 liters daily. So this would be already enough to uh, supply up to 1,000 people in the developing country with clean drinking water. The innovation of the system is the combination of delivering water by using the renewable energy sun in consideration with the lack of technology standards in developing countries by using a maintenance-free pump piston and pumping water without running cost. So, how it works. The solar panels on the top are producing the power, which is going straight to the motor. In the blue pipe, the water well is the pump piston installed. If the motor is getting started, the pump rods are moving up and down, and through this up and down movement, the water is getting pumped up and is flowing straight to the tank. Near the tank can be placed the taps for fetching the water, and the overflow is going, for example, here into a pond where I have a small fish farm with trout living. There's already a system running in the African market, the NSP solar pump here I have installed in Mozambique in 2012. It was for a help project for the organization World Vision. Before they had a hand pump installed, which only broke after three weeks. Here are some facts. The installation is in Chidinguel in Mozambique, in a 100 meter water well. The water is 80 meters down the surface, so it's a maximum delivery high of 83 meters and it's pumping 5,000 liters daily, and this supplies the whole village with 800 people. The NSB is also flexible in design and could, for example, be mounted on a trailer, as you see here, too. Also, a design could be with flexible wheels, where it can be getting shifted on a trailer or by hand, wherever it's needed. Another possibility to bring it there, where it is most needed, is to make social marketing with it. Here, for example, with the brand Coca-Cola, which is also having a very huge market in the African continent. For my development, I already won some national and international awards. The last one was the Ben & Cherries join our core competition in 2013 with, the, with in cooperation the Ashoka Social Entrepreneur Network. Here I'm with Cherry Greenfield, the founder of the ice cream brand Ben & Cherry. So, the NSP solar pump is the optimum solution for aid organization with the focus on sustainability. It makes it possible to offer sufficient and constant water supply to the population of remote areas. Sustainability reports prove that water is the basis for sustainable development and this water can be provided by the NSP. Furthermore, the NSP makes the project and people completely independent of payable energy. With a one-time investment in the NSB, even in the most rural regions, you can have a continuously water supply to, and pumping water without running costs. Many studies prove that aid to self-help is actually the most sustainable form of development aid, because it not only creates local, local work, but improves the living condition of the population. The people are terribly motivated to become involved and to work to improve the circumstances. Not only does the implementation of such projects require financial support and resources, more importantly, the transfer of know-how to the locals. And this can be reached with the local production of the NSB solar pump. So what's the challenge to reduce the water aid in developing countries? One of the market and target group are health organizations. They are working in the water supplying field. The UN Millennium Goal up to 2015 is it to reduce the water aid of 50% and give so 442 million people access to water. If one water well is delivering 10,000 liter water per day and UN is calculating 30 liter per person, this would be already this would be water for 333 people. This means it would be 2.6 million water wells and pumps needed to supply all of them and 1.3 million water wells and pumps are still required up to 2015 to reach this goal. How is the NSP improving the life of people? 
For everything you're doing in your life, you need water for any kind of development and to stay alive. The NSB provides the population of remote areas with access to water. This is essential for the development of a country because water is needed. To build economy, people can start doing farming for a self-supply. To provide healthcare, clean water prevents many diseases and maintaining a good health. To advance education, many children are not going to school because they need to go and fetch water for their families every day. And to maintain culture, access to water is needed to prevent an exodus of the rural population and therefore to guarantee the survival of cultures. Altogether, the NSP is the vital to reducing the water shortages and it will improve the life of billions of people in developing countries around the world. Thank you for listening and I'm looking forward to going with you and the power of the sun into a better future.